Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Chiang Yi. I come from Asia Pacific University. At this time, I want to share my cultural journey. Some people may encounter foreign culture in their life, but I have never traveled abroad. So naturally, I can't encounter foreign culture in their life. But I still have the opportunity to encounter foreign culture. There are many people from different countries on the internet. But since my native language is Chinese, I tend to communicate with people from China. The opportunity to interact with Chinese people come through game. When I was playing a game called Fragrant Order, Bilibili was a video site used by young Chinese people at the time. So I first looked for a video about the game and found an online group for communication with Fragrant Order in the comment section of the video using Tessen QQ platform. I brought my real life friend with me to join the group chat. I was very impressed when I first entered the group chat. There were only 5 people in the group chat and the group leader and vice leader was very enthusiastic about communicating with us when we entered which made me very happy and made me start to feel that most of the people in this foreign culture were friendly toward others. Then I started to let go of my shyness to communicate with them and I slowly integrated into the group as the communication progressed. As time went on, I also started to come across Chinese cultural specialties in group chat and video site which include food, language, and music. Among these cultural specialties, I like Chinese music the most. Asia's music has classical and elegant cyclists with beautiful terms focusing on melody, mostly using ethnic instrument without the metal feeling of rock music of the heaviness of classical music. The famous ethnic instrument that impressed me the most in Asian star music is the sauna which has a unicorn loudness and high pitch. It is an important instrument in northern Chinese folk music is and is often used in traditional Chinese music assembly. I remember that I had a teacher from China who makes us watch a movie about the sauna, Song of the Phoenix, in order to teach us about it. The film introduced me to the sauna and made me interested in listening to the music it plays. I was surprised to discover that the sauna is not only used in funeral ceremony, but that today young Chinese are blending it with modern music to make it more assembly to the public. I hope that everyone who watched the video will enjoy it.